and welcome back folks welcome back to let's play sin wages of sin it's still Blade. that Blade, come in, Blade. it is still it's that boss fight yeah this boss fight the final boss fight against Monero which we have already defeated in two forms now it's his final form uh, he is able to shoot homing missiles Blade. Blade, at us and he is also able to shoot nuclear missiles yes you heard right nuclear missiles at us so yeah and I was getting very annoyed because this boss fight yeah it's a matter of Blade. Blade, talk to me. It's a matter of dying and reloading a lot until you win. It's not much strategy involved. Or at least I can't see any. But I guess that's entirely my fault, isn't it? Yeah. I guess there's a clever strategy. I'm just too stupid to figure it out. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I don't hate this game, but I hate this. I hate this. I hate this boss fight. I don't know why people keep saying that. That the ending of the first game was difficult. The final boss fight of the first game. The final boss fight of the first game was easy. All you had to do was circle around that large building and then. Or even not just the building, but these, these big pillars. That one was pretty straightforward. But this is. But this is annoying. Because it's so difficult to avoid these homing rockets. The only strategy that I. semi strategy that I could come up with is this. I need to get him to this place and then preferably use your rocket launcher against him. I don't have my rocket launcher. Rocket, rocket launcher is depleted. Wait, as well, as wait, well, as well as my health. <sighs> okay, I'm going to, I'm going to finish this game today. I'm going to finish it today. Wait, wait. Just a matter of how long. Today is going to be, but I'm going to finish this game today. That's the problem. That's the fucking problem with this fucking boss fight. Avoiding his fucking rockets is fucking impossible. Fuck. Wait, yeah. wait come it's in. Fucking impossible. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to defeat this game. You better see stars.
Okay, the more angry I get, the more difficult. It wait, wait, come in. The more difficult this becomes because I will make more mistakes. Okay, maybe the grenades. Okay, I don't have any grenades. No, I don't. And then I hit myself with the goddamn crossbow. Yeah! Yes! So long, tough guy. <sighs> hey, Blade, you okay? Barely. What do you want to do about Psycho Boy there? Uh, what? Leave him for the vultures. Oh, man. I think I've earned some R&R &R after this whole ordeal. Yeah, you have, Blade, but there's still just one more little thing to do. Yeah, you're right. It's time to visit Alexis. Is this the end? Oh. like some storm sitting out on the horizon, menacing, threatening us all. I just hope. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> ah, just right. This'll look good. <laughs> hey, mm, nice posters. Too bad you got it written in here that we're not allowed to have that kind of stuff in our offices. What? JC, get the hell out of here before I... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it says right here in your words, section 1220B, subsection 18, says that's not allowed. But... Don't worry, I'll get rid of these for you. You wouldn't <laughs> want to encourage any of the other boys, you know. Ah, oh, hell. <laughs> and he's so gullible. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's because I picked up these calendars. And that's the end. That's the ending of Sin. I hope I hope Fraps does record this. You can see there the people that worked on this game. The, yeah. The game developed by 2015 Inc. A company that I think still exists. Um, I gotta say, I've really I must admit, you guys you guys, not guys. You guys did a fantastic job. All in all, um, I think the this expansion of Sin was much better than the first game, except, of course, that it didn't contain Alexis Sinclair. I think that Minero was not such an interesting villain. Um, also, he didn't appear until the very end basically of the game yeah but otherwise I think that this expansion was much much better game it has had much more polish um, clearly also it felt that yeah also the level the level design was very good um, but what I think what says this apart from Sin is that it really felt that it had a sort of green story. It felt much more cinematic than the first game. Um, it was also apparent that the release of Half-Life had a, had a um, big impact on this game. Especially the first few levels were really much, were very much like Half-Life, more like a survival horror game. Yeah. Um, 
So I, I really enjoyed playing this game, except of course the, the very the last part of the final boss fight was annoying. Um, but again, I guess that's my fault. Yeah. So to conclude, um, Wages of Sin was more. It was more than just a worthy. Um, not. Yeah, it was more than just a worthy expansion to the first game. It was an interesting game on its own. Probably the, yeah, the better of the two since. But st still, I like both games. Um, so unfortunately, unfortunately, there's only one more uh, Sin game that I could play. That would be Sin Episodes. Um, I'm not sure I will play this game because, yeah, I think you can't, but you can't actually purchase that game in my region. Thank you, regional sales models. Um, but I will probably, at some point in time, play some of the um, some of the mods that were created by fans for the first game. There's one. One mod in particular um, that I'm thinking about playing, but for now I think that's that's it for Sin. I hope you liked. I hope you liked this game. As always, I hope you liked my let's play. Um, yeah, and I hope I will see you in some other let's play. So until next time, folks. Until then.